Hey everyone, welcome back to the Thinkorswim tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to create alerts in the Thinkorswim mobile app. Now remember, alerts are simply a way to notify you if a certain condition is met. Basically, that's going to be if a stock goes above or below a certain price, if the volatility on that stock hits a certain level, or it could be based on the volume if it's unusually high for that particular stock. Now before we actually get started with it, I will mention that the Thinkorswim mobile app is going to be far more limited than the desktop version. On the desktop version of Thinkorswim, you can basically create alerts on anything. That would include alerts based off studies or even drawings. In the app, it's going to be far more limited, so this should be a pretty short video. Now jumping right into it, I will say, like everything else in Thinkorswim, there are a couple different ways to do this. The first way is simply looking at the charts page. So if you're on the charts page already, you're simply going to look in the upper right hand corner and you're going to see a little bell icon with a plus sign in it. If we wanted to create an alert on this particular stock, which in this case is Biogen, we'd simply click on that little bell icon. From there, it's going to automatically take us to the alert editor page. Now at the top of the alert editor page, you're going to see the current price of the stock. So in this case for Biogen, it's 235.74. You can see the current bid and the ask over on the right, 229.28 by 245. Down below is all the customization that we have available to us. The very first one is going to be the alert type, which right now is based off the last traded price. The second one is going to be the trigger. So basically, do you want it to trigger if it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to the price that we set? And then finally, the threshold is going to be the actual number that we want it to trigger off of. So for example, let's say we wanted to get an alert if Biogen ever went below $200 a share. We're going to leave the alert set as last because that would be the last traded price for Biogen. We're going to change the trigger from greater than or equal to to less than or equal to. And all we have to do is hit on that little arrow on the right hand side. And then lastly, we're simply going to change the threshold from 235 to 200 in this case. Now that is it. As soon as we hit create alert, we're basically saying send me a message whenever Biogen goes below $200 a share. So since I'm happy with that, we'll go ahead and hit create alert. And you can now see that it automatically takes me to my active alerts page. And up at the top, we can see that most recent alert that I just set. Now, right below that, you can see all of my other alerts that I currently have working. One on Facebook to send me a message if it goes below 300 in this case. The one right below that is an alert based off of Disney stock. But in this case, that would be a study alert, which is not something you can do in the mobile app. This one is if there is a MACD crossover on Disney. Below that one would be a portfolio alert, basically sending me a message if my net lick ever falls below $100,000 in equity. And then the last one is a simple pricing alert based off American Airlines. If it ever goes below 15, send me a message. Now, another way to get to this particular page, the alerts page, is by going to the more button in the lower right hand corner. Looks like three little dots. From there, you would simply click on the little bell icon that says alerts in the upper left hand corner. Now, we already talked about it. This is my active alerts page. All of the conditions that have not yet been met, but once they do, they're going to send me a message. Now, from this page, I can also create new alerts as well. To do that, all we have to do is look in the upper right hand corner, look at that little white bell icon with the plus sign on it. You're simply going to click on that. And then from there, you're going to type in the name of the stock we want to create an alert on. So in this case, let's say we wanted to create an alert on Square. We'll go ahead and type in SQ up there, and then we'll click on Square at the very top. From there, it takes us to the alert editor page, just like before. It's exactly the same, except now it's Square up there at the top. Now, let's say we wanted to create an alert based off something other than stock price. So if we wanted to do that, we would simply click on the arrow to the right of the word last. From there, it takes us to bid, which actually still is the stock price. We're saying if the bid price goes above or below a certain price, send me an alert. If we click on the arrow to the right of that, it's going to take us to ask. Again, send us a message if the asking price goes above or below a certain price. The next one up is going to be the mark price, which is not really something you're going to use generally for individual stocks. You would use it for options contracts, but not really doing it from the mobile app. The next one would be the volatility index. So those of you who trade options out there, this might be something you use. We could set an alert saying, hey, if, if uh, Square's volatility goes above 60% or below 30%, send me an alert. We can also see we've got front volatility as well as back vol, as well as vol differential. And next up is one I think you guys would actually use would be sizzle index. This is an alert basically looking for unusual volume for a particular stock. So the sizzle index will basically act as a gauge. Is the volume today particularly high or low for this stock right now? Now it's only gauging this against the past five day average, so it's not perfect. But if you were to see a sizzle index of let's say two, for example, that would mean the volume today is twice as high as its five day average. If you saw five, it's five times as high as its five day average. If you saw 0.5, it's half as high as its five day average. So we can see when volume is particularly high or low for a stock. Now the next one up is going to be the closing price. And this is actually the very last one and one I don't think you're going to use. 
Honestly, the only ones I think you're really gonna use in here are gonna be the last traded price, as well as the volatility index if we scroll over, and then sizzle index. And that's why this is such a short video. There's not that many alerts you can create inside of the mobile app. On the desktop, you've got so much more flexibility. You can create an insane amount of alerts based off practically anything you want. And if you wanna check out my video that I made on that, I'll link it right here if you wanna check it out. But I know we went through that very, very quickly, but we covered everything you'll need to know to get started creating alerts for yourself. If I did miss anything or you guys have any questions at all, please leave them down below in the comments. As always, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week and I'll catch you all on the next video.